Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and I'm looking for looking at a skill today that you need on the science test, the social studies test, the math test, and that is data analysis. Let's take a look here. It says last February, four houses sold on Privet Drive. Which of the following could represent the range of the home prices in February? Which of the following could represent the range? So we're looking for the range. And it looks like our data has been given to us on a graph. So that makes it a little more challenging than some other range problems we've seen so far. So let's remember what range means. That's when there's very little you actually have to have memorized for the test, but that's a vocab word you should know. Okay, so range is basically um, how far apart the data is spread. Well, how do you find out how far apart data is spread? You look at the difference between the highest score and the lowest score. The difference, hear that math word difference? Difference means subtract. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the high one and I'll subtract the low one. Now, the tricky thing about these problems is, especially in science or social studies, sometimes in range you actually do the subtraction and sometimes you just uh, give your answer as the, the full range. Like, for example, I might say that my children range in ages uh, from 12 to 18, which would be a true statement. My kids do range from 12 to 18, or I could actually do the subtraction. 18 minus 12 means my children have a range of six years between them. They're all pretty close together. So two different ways to look at those answers. And indeed, we see two different types of answers down here. We see some of the answers are written in range form where they haven't done the subtraction, and some of them uh, we have just a single solitary number. So either one of those could be right. So it's important that we examine both ways of looking at range. So let's look at our data. Okay, now you can see that we have these four homes that sold, the dots on our chart. Okay, and a lot of students are just very hasty and they look across and they go, oh look, 270, 210, 190, uh, 250. But take a look at what we're looking at. We're looking at home sales on private, private drive. I don't know where you live, but I've never been uh, somewhere where a house costs $270. I think there's something we're missing. It's really important that you read the axes to understand what numbers represent. Let's read this one. Um, I kind of marked it up. Okay, so now looking at it, it says sale price in thousands of dollars. That means every number here is not just this is not just 150, this is 150,000 or 170,000. So my first number here is 270,000. And then over here I have 210,000. Looks like down here I have 190,000. And over here I have uh, 250,000. Now be really careful. I don't want the beginning price and the ending price. I want the highest and the lowest. So I can see that the highest price that my house houses sold for was 270,000. My lowest price was 190,000. So there's two ways I could write this answer. I could just write it like this. 190,000 to 270,000. And again, I'm using the minus sign here just to mean the word two, not necessarily to mean subtract. Okay, now I don't see that answer here. They're trying to trick me here with just $190 to $270. This one doesn't have the proper numbers on it. So it must be that one of my answers is, my answer is actually being subtracted. Now if you're to subtract this, it would be important um, to realize that difference is always positive. And so I would want to put the higher number into my calculator first. And that kind of makes students mad that when I subtract, I write the higher number first. And when I write the range, I'll usually write the lower number first. Um, but uh, that is just the convention with which uh, they do this. And so it's important that you know that. And so if I were to do that, I would get $80,000. So it looks like uh, there's a range of about $80,000 um, between the home prices here on uh, Privet Drive. Great. So this problem is done. C, $80,000 is the correct answer. And um, if you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, drop it in the, co in the comments and I'll be happy to answer it.